All right, welcome back everybody with all the holiday gatherings coming up. Chances are you're going to end up with lots of leftovers. So how can you make sure none of that food goes to waste? Heidi Harkoff from the New England Dairy Council is here. She has some great ideas to turn food waste into food wants and in a safe way too because sometimes we don't always know how to store things. That's right. And this is going to be a great way to, to really honor the harvest. You know, through my work, I have the privilege of visiting our dairy farm families here in Connecticut. Yeah, they're just, and they're wonderful people. And mm -hmm. it's interesting, when you get to really visit with them, you see what good stewards they are of the land, how they try to conserve water, how they care for the animals. So I think as a consumer, it's good for us to do our part and really honor the harvest so that we make good use of the local food that's produced right here in our state. This is awesome. So uh, your idea looks fantastic. Well, I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve. Okay. You know, usually what happens, you want to have a lot of food at a holiday gathering because that's what makes it special, but that means sometimes a lot of leftovers and usually they get pushed to the back of the mm -hmm. fridge and then they hang out there a little bit too long, as you had just mentioned. <laughs> and yeah. what we oh, have- you've, <laughs> you've been looking into my refrigerator, Heidi. And then trash day comes, you're like, hmm. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> while sandwiches sounds good, you get tired of that and yeah. just throwing the whole thing back in the microwave is boring sometimes too. So I want to show you a few tricks. One is to make good use of your freezer. So if you think you're not going to eat it within a few days, get it in the freezer. For example, these are mashed potatoes I had put in the freezer for my Thanksgiving okay. holiday. Yeah. And I pulled them back out and you let them thaw and you reheat them and you stir it, just whisk it up a bit no one would know the difference. I would never think to do that. How so that's long really can you, idea. like, uh, which, uh, that's mm -hmm. great, because Thanksgiving, you really could reuse them. Uh, I mean, you don't want them every day mm -hmm. for a week. Right. So how long can that stay in the freezer and be okay? It depends. First of all, you want to be sure that you don't leave your food at room temperature for more than two hours. You need to get it off the table and in, into the fridge and then into the freezer. A nice airtight container. More than container. two hours room temperature. We had that question yeah. about the meatballs that were we around. We certainly did. And I Absolutely. told you that, and you didn't believe and me. I didn't believe her. But, <laughs> but you're here, though. You look healthy, so. Yeah, I didn't well, eat them. All right. Iron stomach over there. Okay, but so we shouldn't, if we are thinking we're going to freeze, make sure that we don't just sit around all day. Like, we have to right, kind of right. pack them so up. So I can't answer that question. It depends how you handle your food. But I want to tell you, too, one thing that surprises people is a cheese platter belongs at every great celebration. Mm -hmm. And um, if there's actually any cheese left, which is hard for me to believe there would be cheese left, but if there is, you can really freeze the cheese pieces. Take the cubes, take the chunks, throw really? them in a baggie, and throw it in the freezer. Now, in, it's not going to be the type of cheese you want to put back on a cheese platter again, it, um, but it's perfect for melting on top of other dishes that you do. And I want to show Great you some idea. tips on how to repurpose your cheese that you may have been pulling out of the freezer right, for later cool. on. Okay. Let's do it. So another thing is, you know, you may throw some vegetables in the freezer as well. Let's say you made too much steamed broccoli. I'm going to show you one um, quick tip to repurpose the magic ingredient, which is cheese, which can turn your leftovers into actual planned overs. And so you would just take your broccoli that you maybe threw in the freezer, pull it back out again, line it up, and we're going to make a quick quesadilla out of that and place a few pieces of cheese on top of that. And then you can just fold this in half and you can saute that up in a pan or you can put it in the microwave if you really, really want to be fast about it. You get a nice cheese broccoli little uh, quesadilla, quesadilla there. Right That's on. awesome. A little, a little snack or breakfast or lunch, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm getting hungry already. Okay. And oftentimes at our holiday celebrations, we have root vegetables. So yep. it could be roasted carrots, I have sweet potato that was left over, there could be butternut squash. And these roasted, um, these root vegetables have a nice sweet tone and they pair very nicely with black beans. So again, if you put a few of these into a tortilla, and you top it with some black beans from a can, so it's something you can have around the house at all times. And I would put some more of the cheese from the freezer. You just would let it thaw and you put it back on top and then make like a little pocket out of it. Oh, you got a little, uh, little burrito going. And microwave that and you have a black bean sweet potato burrito. That is and fantastic. Love it. Nice. So you want to be sure that you really maximize good use of all of those and you can use your cheese. I would even take the frozen cheese and I would make like a shepherd's pie with my mashed potatoes I pulled out of the freezer and yeah. I would put cheese on top of the mashed potatoes and put that in the oven and bake it up and you have another meal that doesn't look just like the one you had at the holiday celebration. Awesome. So, and you've, I see you've got the, the cheddar and say the brie, like really any cheese can be frozen? Yes, and as a matter of fact, you can put them all in one bag because then you can have a four cheese quesadilla. That's awesome. And it makes it even more special then if you combine them. So, right. absolutely. Well, thank, thank you, you so Heidi. Much, we Heidi. appreciate that. We're gonna close out our show with Scott Rio and the uh, Weathersfield Coralaires. Guys, take it away.